I've just been sent something absolutely hilarious. The payoff will come at the end, I promise. But until we get there, I'm going to go through every single one of my violations. This was my first. It was a dude saying some absolutely horrific things about women. This was my second. This is a video about a woman who was teaching all of her followers how to manipulate men and get as much money out of them as possible. This is my third. This is just me telling someone that their facts were wrong and I just showed them Google evidence from a .org website. Number four, it was me having a go at something ridiculous that Andrew Tate said. And all I did was respond to the video with a clip from Billy Madison, so that was a bit weird. This was me next one. This was me asking someone a question about someone that was talking in the video. I didn't know they was on about me, but the person was blocked, so, you know. And this was me trying to make ladies aware of a very sketchy content creator on this app that should be aware of his past for their own protection. And then again, someone who tagged me in a video, I just told them, you know, have you met this fella? He's a compulsive liar. Don't waste your time on him. So you can lie about someone, but you can't tell someone else that they lie. It's just mental. So all of those violations has led to people still trying to push a ridiculous narrative by pretending that I'm a misogynist. I'm more of a feminist than that woman is, and I'm not even a feminist. Piss off. So it begs the question, why would someone continue to lie about someone? It's interesting, man. It also points out that when people call other people a misogynist and other people believe it, not only do they not know what a misogynist is, the people who believe it are thick as shit.